Hello children, this is Veena. I am taking your second grade class today. It's my first session. Let us start off with our new lesson. Bukka learns a lesson. So here, someone is learning a lesson. Let me ask you, will you really listen to your elders? Yes, you should. Because elders always show us a correct way of living. And that is how we come to know what is correct and what is wrong. So, usually we have to listen to our elders. As well, don't ever treat anyone that he is weak or she is weak. Don't discriminate that thing. Because we don't know who shall be, how strong and what time may come forward. The same thing goes with Bukka in this lesson. Have you all heard about rabbit and tortoise story? Yes, let us recollect that story. Yeah, see, head thinks that tortoise will not win the race. But did it win or did it lose? No, tortoise won the race. So rabbit discriminated telling it's a weak or a slow animal. So this discrimination shouldn't be there as well. My request is to please listen to your elders and follow a correct way. So let us start with the lessons with the new words. Let me read out the words for you. Remember Harrow's Approaching Harmony Junius Rept Let us spell it out now. Let us spell it out. R-E-M M-B-E-R Remember Harrow's Telling the younger elephant that 
you shouldn't crush while you lie down on the ground. Why shouldn't they crush snails? Because they are smaller worms. Yes? It is a snail that tells you when flood water enters the forest. So the elder elephant is training its junior elephant saying that you shouldn't lie down on the ground without seeing because there are small snails which can be crushed. And these are the small worms which tells us there is a forest water entering. That is we have floods. Children, we all know that even uh, this academic year as well as the last academic year we have much floods. That is the overflow of water. So snail is the animal which tells in the forest. That is you can see snails popping out from the grass. You can see much and much snails when there is flood. And the, the, that is the intimation which has been given. Check to see if they are baby squirrels in the hollows of the trees when you shrink the branches of the tree. So the elder elephant is also telling that when you shake the branches with your tusk, be very careful there are baby squirrels inside the hollows. What is hollow? Have you seen hollows? Yes, it is a small Baru type which is there in the tree. It is a small hole which is there in the tree. Those are called as halos. And in that halos you find small baby squirrels. When you go to pluck and eat the fruits, please don't trouble these baby squirrels. Yeah. You shake the branches of the tree to pick the fruits. Then these animals will be the first ones to give you the news of any danger, the squirrels will bring you news of an approaching forest fire. Have you all seen forest fire? Suddenly the forest catches fire. Why? Because the dry trees rub to each other. This friction causes forest fire. And these squirrels tells you that there is a forest fire by tripping some. So elephant is training its junior elephant. The elder elephant is training its junior elephant saying that when you lie down on the grass, be careful. You will not scratch the snails. As well it is telling that there are squirrels in the hollows of the tree. When you go and pluck the fruits, please be careful. You don't harm the squirrels. Snails tells that there is floods in the forest and as well the squirrel tells us there is a forest fire. Yes children, we'll move on. The older elephants do not only teach the young elephants how to live in harmony. What do you mean by harmony? Have you ever heard this? Harmony is peaceful. Staying peaceful and unity among yourself. So, the older elephant, that is the big elephant is saying that, see, you should all stay with each other in peaceful manner. But also teach them how to live in harmony among their own kind. So, when you live peace only, you know, you can spread friendship or you can spread unity. Yes? That is what is the older elephant telling its junior elephant year. Who is the junior elephant you think children? It's Booker. When you get news of good food, the elders tell the juniors you must not eat alone. Yes, even at home. Have you seen? If you have a younger sister or younger brother, mama tells you to share your food or share your chocolates with your younger children. That is anger, brother or sister. Yes, children. So today we will end up with this session. Thank you so much. Stay safe.